that former Governor Andrew Cuomo will not face criminal charges for the sexual harassment allegations brought against him. Our Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Brill spoke with the YWCA about the decision's impact. The criminal charges against former Governor Andrew Cuomo have been dropped, and I spoke with the CEO of the Mohawk Valley YWCA, who says that this is frustrating and discouraging. They're hearing things like, you're not believed. It's not worth it. Uh, because it's your reputation now that's tarnished and um, there is no justice here. However, Diane says that we should look to the cases where there has been justice for hope and encouragement. Weinstein, right? Giselle Maxwell just recently in the news charged with human trafficking and convicted. Um, and R. Kelly, look at what happened with he was a uh, fell from grace too. So these are high profile things. We don't see what's happening in the day to day business world. We don't see that the um, the allegations that are, are investigated and either founded or unfounded in um, and there's action taken uh, so that women feel safe and secure and valued uh, in the workplace. When asked about how we can encourage women to come forward and create a change in the workplace and other environments, Diane explains that she thinks there will always be challenges, but we need to remember the state mandated workplace definition of sexual harassment in order to educate and create change. Any unwanted verbal or physical advance, sexually explicit or derogatory statement or sexually discriminatory remark that that is offensive to the recipient or that interferes with their job performance. And I think that the emphasis that is offensive to the recipient. So you may not, you may think that it's not offensive, but if the person you're saying it to thinks it's offensive, now it becomes harassment. Diane says that the focus needs to be on proper education and making the process of coming forward easier on victims. Uh, pay attention in your mandatory sexual harassment trainings or harassment trainings at work. Men rarely report this because if you think there's a stigma against a woman reporting this, imagine if it's a man reporting this. So that's really challenging too. So we have to make it easier for people to come forward when they ha have an issue. We have to be receptive and listen to them and believe them and it has to be thoroughly investigated. Reporting in Utica, Lauren Brill, Eyewitness News. Be sure to get our